Hey, it's Michelle. I'm here to explain how I'm using the Team Viewer because there's a couple of things you need to absolutely make sure you do. And I'm not sure what kind of phone you have, but this is what I've been doing. And I need to make sure that you have the right app installed because if you use the wrong app, it's not going to work. So all you do is you just go to teamviewer.com and you just download free for private use and whenever you download it you do not say that it's for business or else they will want to charge you you want to say that it's for personal use and you have to go through the whole process oh I think it's downloading okay anyway it's going you need to be sure to say though that it's for personal use that's really really important okay here we go you want to do basic installation personal non-commercial use okay so once you do that it's going to install and I'm, I have an icon here and what you're going to do is you are going to double click on that and basically um, it's going to set it up so that you can allow remote control and what you do is you need to actually get an ID number from the phone and so here's my ID and my password which I can change anytime so anybody watching this I can cha I'm going to change this so um, don't even bother <laughs> but what you do though is I have to put in the partner ID and in order for me to do that I actually I have to um, I have to install and let me go ahead and plug that in and then I'll okay let me put that in real quick okay connect to partner and then what it's going to do is it's going to ask my phone if I want to allow it. I'm going to specify allow. So I click allow. And then what it's going to do is it's then going to pop up this window and just go right over here to remote control. Click on that. It's going to ask my phone again. I'm going to allow it and there it is. Now I want to make sure you understand. <clears throat> Oops, I don't want to close that. Cancel. Real quickly, I want to make sure that you understand that when you install, you have to install the app on your phone, but it's this one that you need to install. If you install the Team Viewer, the Team Viewer app is the one that if I click on that, that means that I will be able to control my computer from my cell phone. But the Quick Support app is the one that you use when I click on that, okay? it's allowing me to see my phone and that's what I wanted to share with you is I needed to show you that you need to have the quick support app not the team viewer app but the quick support okay and this is what it looks like so if you have an iPhone I'm not sure if it's the exact same or not but just make sure that you're doing the quick support instead of the team viewer okay because the team viewer is opposite. It allows you to control your computer from your cell phone. And I'm not sure exactly how that works because I'll never need to use that. Okay, so I just want to make sure you understood that. And so now um, it's that that easy. How easy is that? Okay, see ya.